so here's a quick video on how to uh, avoid any of the bases lifting from the natural eyelash so it is in your um, doesn't matter which tweezers you're using this one is straight um, or you're using the curved ones to hold the lash um, the idea is that the eyelash has the curl and the extension has the curl as well now if we if we look from the side and if you're going to apply it this way there is going to be a lifting base the idea is that we have to change actually the way you hold your tweezers to make sure those bases are going to stick exactly together so the whole idea to apply the eyelash seamlessly to to the natural eyelash is that to find that perfect connection between in as much as possible flat surface so you can see that probably from here to here this is more or less flat and that will depend on how eyelash is growing as of course as well because some lashes they will be really lifted up like this that means you will have to hold your tweezers differently again so it's it's a little turn in your tweezers on how you're going to adjust and when you're getting close to that eyelash that you want to use we are going to adjust the tweezers to be totally totally parallel to that natural eyelash so i'm going to pick a little bit of the glue and you will see it straight away that's a tiny glue here letting it go and like that we nearly cannot see where is that starting from if you still have some glue bubble on it that the glue is visible you can use the outside of the tweezers just gently swipe it Another thing you can use is the toothpick. Just swipe it gently. But you don't have to if it's perfect. We're trying to apply it perfectly seamlessly and every, every single eyelash. There should be no uh, visible glue. There shouldn't be any uh, lashes sticking up from the bases. So the bases have to be in super super tight contact that will make the eyelashes to last and that will be the most comfortable for your client